สวัสดีครับ Welcome to All About Thailand by me. I have very good news, guys, and the good news is regarding to the entry to Thailand. So the entry rules are changed, are going to change from the 1st of June and change for the better. First of all, and you're not going to be very happy, very delightful about that, the Thailand pass remains. Thailand pass will remain until uh, the 1st of July. That's the plan. But uh, the good news is, it's going to be electronic, so you don't have to visit the embassy. You upload, uh, uh, you fill an electronic form, upload the relevant documents, so you still need insurance and uh, vaccination status. Uh, you upload your documents, and you are expected to get your QR code uh, within min within a few minutes. It sounds good. It sounds good to be honest and. One thing, one very important thing, if you're a Thai a national, Thai citizen, well, I'm not. So, but if you are, then you are in luck. You are in luck because you don't have to register for Thailand Pass anymore from the 1 s t of June. And I would like to emphasize, like, before you travel, double check, triple check everything with your local embassy. Whatever news I'm telling you, it's from the Ministry of Health in Thailand. It's official, but in Thailand things can change by the hour, so uh, don't get caught out uh, with some silly rules. What's going to be changed just right before your departure? Get everything uh, from double checked, uh, triple checked. So Thailand pass is no longer for Thai nationals. If you are lucky enough to be a Thai national, then you just go ahead. You don't need insurance. You don't need Thailand pass. So for you, a pandemic uh, officially going to be over uh, regarding to uh, travel restrictions. So no more restrictions for Thai nationals. That's amazing. Uh, vaccinated people, you fill the uh, fill the uh, form for the uh, electronic Thailand pass, and if you got the QR code and you can prove that you vaccinated, it's, you're going to be checked by the immigration officers. If you are fully vaccinated, you don't have to do anything else. You need the insurance, though. I, it, it went down to 10,000 American dollars. So if you are fully vaccinated, almost as it was before the pandemic. If you are not fully vaccinated or you are not vaccinated, then you uh, go ahead with the Thailand pass. You either going to choose to have a RT PCR and important change again for the better, a pro ATK test. So pro professional ATK test. You cannot self administer, so you cannot do the test for yourself. A health professional, a nurse, has to uh, carry out the test, but it can be ATK test. It doesn't have to be an RT-PCR from the 1 s t of June. So you need the test results uh, within 72 hours. So 72 hours prior to departure. That's very good news. Or if you can, uh, if you want, you can choose to get the same thing uh, at the airport. You have to book your. Uh, sorry, you have to book your five days quarantine. It's only five days, and on the fourth or fifth day, you are going to get an RT-PCR test. Mm, which one is better? Well, it's it's up to you which one you prefer. So, I think you can give it give it a try prior to departure, and yeah, you can go for the RT-PCR test. If you're hundred percent sure you are not, uh, I don't know, infected with COVID, then why not? Why wouldn't? So, and if you if you provide your uh, test, uh, your negative COVID test, uh, 72 h o u r within 72 h o u r s prior to departure, then you can just go freely. Again, you're gonna be checked. Uh, one more one more thing, of course, there's a temperature check. It's it's still on, and it's gonna gonna apply for Thai citizens, Thai nationals as well. So uh, once you arrive, there's going to be a temperature check. If you have a fever, or I don't know, health professional is going to spot you like, yeah, this guy has something. Then you need to get the test, but it's going to be at the airport. It's going to be again a pro uh, ATK test. Uh, no more PCR, I believe. That's uh, that's what the ministry uh, said. So what else I wanted to talk about? Okay, the emergency degree extended until the first of July. Uh, Uh, again, but 
uh, the health minister Anutin Chanvirakun, he's already talking about like they might going to scrap it uh, in within two weeks. So in the middle of June they might going to scrap, but again. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But many people, and it's very important again, many people in Thailand uh, is raising their voice now to please, please scrap the Thailand pass. That's good. That's very good. Very good news. Okay, so uh, one thing, yeah, so the, the official announcement for CCSA has cancelled Thailand pass for Thai nationals who may freely enter Thailand without uh, with just their valid Thai passport from the 1st of June. Foreigners are still required to apply for Thailand pass prior to traveling to Thailand, but the CCSA announced today that they have streamlined the Thailand pass for foreigners with the changes commencing on the 1st of June. The improved and simplified system will automatically issue a Thailand pass QR code for the applicants after submitting the application. Sounds good. Uh, I, I was just thinking what's going to happen if the electronic system not going to accept one of your documents or I don't know, if they find something, they some, some clutch going to happen during your application. If something goes wrong, I'm sure or I'm guessing, okay, I'm guessing there's going to be a phone number you can still call. If there's any problem with your Thailand Plus, yeah, pass, you can, you can call the phone number, I assume. It, it sounds good to be to be honest it sounds good so that's why I said good news good news everything just getting better except and and now let, that's about entering Thailand and a little bit about what's going on in Thailand now uh, reportedly Malaysians are flooding the country flooding it flooding into Thailand uh, is it for work or uh, holiday no one knows uh, probably both both uh, so uh, the new new might be I don't know issue is monkeypox yes not chickenpox monkeypox so at the moment uh, there is uh, now uh, CDC or uh, I don't know we WHO are monitoring monkeypox and uh, the CCSA in Thailand so the Thailand disease control uh, organization whatever it is they are monitoring that monkeypox so guys uh, Let's hope uh, they they're not gonna uh, raise uh, awareness about that uh, too much. So let's hope. Let's hope <laughs> it's going to be nothing. So uh, one one more news. There was a local. I mean, uh, go governmental. Uh, so there was there were local election elections uh, in Bangkok. I'm a bit tired now. So uh, Bangkok is going to have a new governor, and the new governor most likely is not officially announced. So the elections were on the 21st of uh, May. It was a Saturday. There was an alcohol ban. It was all in the news. Like you can't drink alcohol for 24 hours. Uh, it's a big news in Thailand. So possibly the new governor is going to be. Uh, I don't know if I have. I have his name. Yeah, Chat Chat Sitipun. So Chat Chat City Pum, he's he's an ex member, so probably affiliated with the uh, Pua Thai Party, uh, which is very popular uh, with young people nowadays. And as you might know, the population of Bangkok is rather young uh, compared to the rest of the country. So probably that's one of the reason uh, this gentleman going to. Not officially, but probably uh, within days, a few days, he's gonna officially be announced to be the new governor of Bangkok. Uh, so that was that was a uh, news. Uh, the the vote count is still on as of now. Uh, today is Sunday, and uh, it's almost eight p.m. in the UK. So the vote count is still on. But uh, if you can believe uh, Thai media, and it's in the Thai media already, he's going to win by a landslide. So. We will see. It's not going to be, yeah, you're not going to get surprised too much now. So other news in Thailand now is uh, flash floods. So flood which caused by heavy rain. Actually, there was flash flood warning in Bangkok uh, a few days ago and a part of Bangkok, uh, like Luxi district, uh, yeah, it, it got some kind of flood. So it's it's not outmost yeah the worst flood ever but still uh, it's, it's not comfortable and if you are about to have a business around the area yeah just uh, be cautious okay uh, and okay for the last 
I left it for the last because many many of you uh, asking about this so from the 1st of June bars can be officially opened until midnight so again we're giving something but not fully taking away a little bit so bars gonna be open officially uh, but on, on up to midnight uh, in blue and uh, yellow zones yes in blue and yellow zones but uh, so th those are the less infected zones in Thailand but uh, Bangkok and all the main cities in Thailand are now in blue or yellow zone so nothing to worry about if you missing bars or bar life nightlife in Thailand then you are in luck indeed so those were the good news and I, I really hope uh, I could I could serve you with some some good news regarding to entering Thailand also I a little bit of update what's going on in Thailand uh, general uh, I really hope you're gonna find this uh, video useful if you do please uh, consider give me a thumbs up and subscribe of course uh, I would say it really helps channel out. I don't know why one of uh, video A is getting quite good views and video after just nothing, almost nothing, and the video after getting again good views and I don't know how is it, what's going on or... So my last video got almost nothing, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately. So I really hope this video gonna, I don't know, reach, reach uh, some kind of audience so thank you so much whoever watched ever watched my videos and thank you so much for watching uh, this one right now and uh, I hope next time I can tell you even better news I'm really waiting for the end of official announcement of the end of pandemic in Thailand and in the whole world so if you stayed until the end well done and thank you again. Thank you so much. And have a lovely day. Kopkum krab. Sawadee krab.